Yo, yo, what's up, community? Your man, Evil Foot, Metro Manila. You know the place. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please don't forget to like the content if you like it. Please don't forget to follow the IG account at Evil T-Shirt Club. It's pretty dope. A lot of dope art and everything. And today's Evil sneaker review is on the AJ1 Electro Orange. Copped at Titan 22. And this is the fourth rendition of the Shattered Backboard Collection. Or colorways, whichever you prefer to call it. But yeah, Titan 22 is legit. I believe they had a retro release of the 23 and the 35 or the 34, whichever one, in their own colorways. But you see the jerseys here, it's a legit spot, you know? And was surprised completely to see that these were sitting on shelves. But yeah, the racer blues are hot. Heat on feet are the Midnight Navy Foam Posit ones. I believe this was a 2019 release. Till this Midnight Navy Foam Posit release, I had never seen a gum sole on a Foam Posit before, so pretty. Pretty cool. As always, EvilTshirtClub.com for the rarest villains ever. And this is called skincare, by the way. We also have face masks, so pick that up as well. So here we go. Again, I picked this up from Titan22. Be sure to check them out. And I actually won my first raffle from Titan22. I, until this occurred, I didn't think it was even possible. So yay me. As you see, it comes along with the standard AJ1 box. And I'll show you later on what my opinion on what kind of box it should have came with. But here we go. And plain paper here, nothing special. But this shoe is freaking amazing. I am so happy to have this, to have been able to procure this in a raffle that I never win. I mean, look at this sneaker, man. In all honesty, I, I believe all the L's were worth waiting for this to fall in my lap. So totally happy. You see the two sets of strings that it comes along with, in addition to the black ones that are already laced at that bottom eyelid there. And the price point for this was about 9,000 pesos, so that's about 180 bucks USD. But the materials, man, the materials on this sneaker are official. I don't have any of the other shattered backboards, I do have this one. And I'm glad that I waited and I lost everything else to make me really appreciate what I have in my hand right now. And I'll go out on a limb here and say this Electro Orange colorways is like going to be as classic as the bread colorways. I'm just telling you now because this is sick. Just very fortunate that I was able to cop at retail because the aftermarket or the resale market is going to be crazy for this. And what's also unique about this is the color blocking that they featured here is, is similar to the AJKO. I, you know, when I got the Chicago a couple of months back, um, this is cool, but it does have the leather there. It's just white instead of black or, you know, fitting the standard color blocking of the AJ ones when they release. So you see it, you know, this leather, I, I really wish that you could feel this. Here's the hourglass and um, on the top of the ankle, that material, I don't even know what this is to be honest with you, but I love how it has that glossy effect to the electro orange colorways. It's sick, it's going to pop. And another thing that I love about this is just the, the, the orange kind of sticks to the, the base colors for Nike in general, right? So we have now the base color of Nike used with an AJ1, and that is just amazing. I love that. And we have a standard, you know, shoe tree here. These sneakers are definitely going to hit the uh, replica market. I, there's no doubt about that, but the materials will not be repped as well. I'll tell you that right now. The Nike Air on the insole, but look at the design. There's this boxed Nike Air. I've never seen that before personally. Um, you know, I don't have everything that ever came out. So tell me if I missed this somewhere else, but this is pretty dope. I'll just pull it out so you guys can get a better look at the stitching on the inside. And here we are again just for a better look at that. Everything else is, you know, common in the AJ1. These guys definitely fit true to form. So let's take a look at the laces here. Let's go ahead and pull this off first. 
So as always, AJ1 uh, does not come pre-laced, so they, I like how they include extra laces for you to choose. If you ever do get a pre-laced AJ1, send it back, it's a fake. And I myself, I'm running with the orange laces. Yo, seriously, man, look at this. This is amazing. This sneaker is my favorite of the year. I waited all the time for the AJ6 Carmine to release back in February, but this is my favorite release of 2021 so far, hands down. But that's just my opinion. Um, leave a comment. What do you think? What's your favorite release thus far in 2021? This is my vote right here. Let's talk about it. Let's chat. Comment below. For those out there who were fortunate to get a, a win on this, uh, which laces did you decide to go with? The black, the white, the orange? Let me know. Let's talk about it. Comment below. For those out there who were fortunate to procure the other three SPBs, which, which are your favorite? The 4.0, 3.0, 2.0 or the first year original ones comment below let me know also send me a hookup so i can get some, the other three going off the of pictures these are my favorite <laughs> so what do you think so this next message is for nike this came with the black box but should have come with the orange box nike what were you thinking jordan brand what were you thinking come on get it together man someone is definitely getting a free paycheck because they they slept on this idea nike come on hit your man up evil foot if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe to the channel press the like button if you like it Peace.